Hi, Kara from Karen Co Creative here. If you're new to me in the channel, we do both done for you and DIY websites and everything you need to run your business online. Here on YouTube, we're doing the DIY piece. And today I have a very quick tutorial showing you how the new Squarespace 7.1 Fluid Engine works when it comes to optimizing the mobile version of your pages. So I'm gonna take you over my shoulder and we will do that. All right, so we're gonna do this on one of my client sites. essentially if we come into let's see i want to do actually let's do it here sorry find the right page i want to work with so if we look at this page like this everything's nice there's a bunch of different pieces the new fluid engine builder makes it nice and easy to do these sorts of things where you line up images against text it's really quite nice but if we come into the mobile version of this page you'll see things are a little bit out of order this person's not in the box there's this big gap um like this isn't as nicely lined up all of these stars were the bullet points for this and they're just hanging out so this is kind of the one drawback. It gives you a lot of flexibility, but it's not quite smart enough to just make things a good mobile responsive page without some effort. So we're going to go ahead and change this by hitting edit. And again, if you are on your page, like if you're come in here to edit a page and you notice the mobile is really bad, you come in here to change it. What you're missing is you need to hit this mobile view icon. So we're going to do this, edit, and here we go. This is the title. So move the title up, move this down, and this person, here, this is the position backward, so now she's here. Um, I'm going to leave that like that and you can go ahead and make this section shorter by doing that. Uh, for this one, I'm going to move the image over here. This box, I say the image isn't that big, but that box is bigger. Sometimes it helps to make the box smaller so that you can move the image where you want it. So for instance, this one, if I want this person to be towards Further over here, it's a little bit harder when there's that much space. But I'll make the spacing. So there we go. And again, shorten this section. This one's fine. That one's okay. So this one, again, we're going to have to shorten all of these. This is where I do recommend you just, you know, take some time, put on some good music. Up, oh, that one should stay there. Move everything down, give yourself some space. Like to be careful to make sure. So we saw here there was one box row worth of space. So make sure that's consistent across all of them. So again, move this one down. So there's a full box of space. Move this in so there's two to the left, so that way they're going to stay consistent. Move this guy. And again, I got to make this box smaller so that he can go all the way over, and then this one can go like this. Make sure that this alignment's better. Okay, and then move this guy again. So there's one box of space worth. All right, and then now we can take our stars and line them up. Bring this one all the way up. And I want this to be like, actually, no, sorry, not space. So then maybe I'll just move the box. There we go. Perfect. And then this guy, I'm going to make him smaller. 
I'm going to bring it up here, then we'll see if it's the same. Yep, same size as that. So it's just click and drag. So each element I'm clicking and holding. Excuse my cell phone there. It's usually never on ringing, but what is today? All right. All right, so that's that. And then again, click and hold this piece, drag it up to make that better. So now you really get the idea. It's just about being patient and shifting those items around. And remember everything you need to do, you want the blue box around the item to fit the item. So like for this, these ones, remember the blue boxes were out here. Make sure that it's a uh, hugging sort of the content. And then also just click drag and just be patient. It's a little bit of a pain, but this is remember what gives you that really great adaptability and making sure that your mobile pages really stand out and you can have lots of different elements on them. Um, so good luck, be patient. And if this video is helpful, be sure to drop a like on it. And as always, you can subscribe to the channel to be notified about future videos. Thanks.